For this map, I recommend the chain lightning axe and any strings are fine. Enter or A on the Xbox controller to skip the opening cutscene. Oh bravo, goodies! Someone is putting on a puppet show. This map has five total geysers, one near your stage, three across the middle, and one owned by Lion White near his stage. At the start, the enemies will spawn right next to your guys at your base. You just want to use phase shredder on them and then direct your guys towards the middle geyser. I prefer to use the green command or number three. It is the move command. It moves your troops towards your selected target with the white pillar of light and they will automatically attack or react to your target. If it is just an empty location, they will stand guard there. Here, I summon the rally flag so that way all of my newly spawned targets will follow me. I just spawn it and then pick it up with the uh, combine or the tag team command. He had a fine life before, you know, but this war is going to get you killed. Do you care about pushing him into an early death? Or has that demon poison already killed your monkey heart? Here I noticed that they just got the worm off of that tower, so I'm going to send my guys to fight them for it. I also am going to land near it to prevent Lion White from putting up his own tower. If you Lion White is near an empty geyser, you will not be able to put up a tower. It works in reverse. If you are near the geyser, he will not be able to put one up. So sweet of him. Just let me know if you want me to add it to the show. Come close. Here I engage the demon just a little bit to slow down his progress, but I don't want him to stop attacking the geyser worm. So I will let him live for the time being and then send my guys over there. Once I get back, I will finish him off. Well, I think I ate some bad sand. I then do my best to stand near this geyser to prevent Lion White from putting up a tower because he will stealthily try to take them from you if you release them without putting up a tower yourself. For this stage it's very important to get stage upgrades because you will need to be fully upgraded in order to get roadies which are required to beat the gimmick of this stage towards the end. Gotta give Clementine a breather. what a quitter! Hey, get away from our merchandise! This is why I choose Chain Lightning for this stage. Um, it's good to distract and stun all enemies in a small area so they can't continue to attack or they'll draw all their aggro to you in one moment. Once you've gotten all three towers in the middle, you'll want to take down his tower. If he doesn't have any resources, he won't be able to summon any of his stronger units, and you can pretty much steamroll him after that. Oh, 
Oh, no. Oh, that felt good. I put my rally flag down here because he only sends enemies down from the right staircase or from his perspective down the left. He doesn't send any more down the other side once you take over this tower. This is your new home. Kill all trespassers. I think my foot's Once you have enough stage upgrades, you are able to upgrade your individual first three units, which would be the headbangers, really your basic unit, troops, your ranged attack units, and your basis, which is your healer. I typically like to upgrade them at this point just to keep them there, so that way if I mess up on the next part, I still have an army good enough to steamroll anything he's going to throw out at this point. As you can see, they all have neon bits on them to indicate that they've been upgraded and they're pretty much able to steamroll Lion White himself on their own. At this point, you will need to get roadies in order to play this stage's gimmick, which is to destroy those lancing devices or lancing towers right near his stage. In order to do this, you can hold down the combination button and you can give people individual commands. So I went ahead, targeted one of the lancing devices, the one on the right since it's the closest to my army, just in case something was wrong, and then I highlighted them by holding down the combination button and telling them to move while holding down that button. The roadies are considered invisible, so the lancing devices will not even be able to target them, whereas if any of your other army were to get near them, they will get demolished like I'll show here shortly. So as you can see, even with just one tower down, they're still going to defeat this entire upgraded army as it approaches. For some reason, my roadies get frozen here, so I just combine with one to fix their slowdown, and I end up having to send another one because even just a proximity shot is enough to take out everyone. It's important to note here that if you have let Lion White gather some resources, he will be sending out these Impaler cars himself, and by quite a few at a time. Your only anti-vehicle unit at this point is the Bouncers, which are the guys with the big fists, so you will need a couple of those to help take, you, help take those down easily, otherwise they're pretty bulky. I don't want Lion White to interfere with my roadie's pathway, and luckily the AI, even on brutal difficulty, is not that intelligent, so I'm just going to trail him. I don't want to fight him full on. I just want to tickle him with the Clementine attack and just have him follow me around in circles. In the meantime, I'm also going to target his main stage and then eventually set my army here once I get bored of having him chase me around. And that's how you beat this stage on Brutal. I actually don't even get a chance to send my entire army up here because the roadies end up taking out his stage pretty quickly. Um, you'll see them run up and then the game will end. And that's how you defeat Lion White in roughly 12 minutes on Brutal difficulty.